Hi everyone, we're in the fitting salon taking shoes out of boxes and it's a particularly exciting episode because today we're doing a virtual try on of our very, very, very first ever tall boot. And it's called And Then Some. Hooray! Okay. That was a little drum roll. Um, <clears throat> so as we always talk about, you're going to receive these excellent cards when you order a pair of these and that's got all our ideas for loving and caring for your shoes and especially things like regular waterproofing and moisturizing which you'll get a moon card if you order it at checkout which you can do so that's one thing but let's talk about shoes themselves here they are tall boots and the big question is how tall is the tall boot so we thought today we got our uh, ruler out. If you've been watching our videos, you might recognize this ruler from the North Star videos anyway. The tall boot measures 20, just under 24 centimeters tall with the outsole and the, the shaft itself, this section here, is 20 centimeters, so this part. Now there's so many amazing stories about the making of these boots and they have literally been in work since I think we started originally from like July, maybe even earlier last year. It was definitely in lockdown time. So anyway, um, and what happened was we began with actually a different outsole unit. We began with a unit that we'd sourced from the market and we're going to put some pictures up to show you because it's really important that I help to share the story of, of what we think is enduring about this boot because there's lots and lots of tall boots in the market. This year is very much a tall boot season, as they say. Um, so we were thinking about that when we began development and we wanted to try and experiment. Of course, we've never made a tall boot before um, for, with this brand. Um, the tallest that we've ever done is the everything boot. And what happened was the first iteration of the boot, which I'm going to put photos up, we had it on this really chunky outsole unit. And when it came in, I was like, it's too trend, it's too fashion, right? And that's not what we're in the business of doing. Like we're trying to make shoes that are enduring classics that you go to every time, every year that still have a point of view, but they're not trend. So it's kind of, it's a hard balance and, and it's a hard thing to get right. And it takes a lot of work. So we made the first sample, which takes about from um, conception through to realization of a prototype, takes about eight weeks. We got the prototype in, so time's ticking on, winter's coming, and it wasn't right. So we had to go back to the drawing board. And in the meantime, we had been developing our new outsole unit, which is the future unit. And I thought, you know, instead of trying to find a new outsole mold for this tall boot, it needs to go on our mold. So that's what we did. And so we had to go back to the, the maker and we had to begin again, essentially. So we started with this it's the same pattern, so with the deep gusset, the elastic, and we added on the leather tabs, which I know a lot of you guys ask for, especially on a tall boot. So we added that back in. And yeah, and it finally was made. Now, we also had a lot of color ideas down for this, but I wanted to start really simple with this silhouette because tall boots are a lot to own and I want to make sure they're really wearable. So, and something that you're really going to use all the time. And obviously we're in Melbourne, tall boots are really useful because it's really cold. So it felt right. And, um, and we're really proud of, of what we've actually been able to achieve with these. So that's kind of the backstory and lots of the pictures have gone up to explain it. The other thing to talk about with tall boots is, and another reason we haven't made them is because anyone that works in the shoe business will tell you, tall boots are notoriously hard to fit. And the reason for that, especially tall boots without a zip, is because everyone has different um, girth measurements. And there will be some people with high arches that will not necessarily find these the easiest boots to pull on. And some people won't be able to get them on. And that is kind of just the silhouette. But we have added a really deep elastic gusset. The gusset is very low. And we've basically prototyped these. So we've made 100 pairs so that we can get them to market and experiment with you guys and see how you're feeling about them. They're very special. There is only a hundred pairs um, and we've gone to huge effort to bring them to you. So I really hope that you like them. And now I'm gonna show you how I've been wearing them and how we're styling them in the shoot. 
and we'll talk a little bit about that. All right, so now I'm going to put them on. I'm going to show you the production straight out of the box and then I'm going to show you my pair that I've been wearing so you can see how much they relax and stretch, which we did with the Luna boots actually, if you remember on that video. So this is the production pair. So straight out of the box and you can see a little bit of a wiggle to get them on. It's this one. A little bit of a wiggle. Such a satisfying click when you get it past the heel cup. So, <laughs> so this is as they are. Now, one of my favorite things about the new shoot that we did was styling tall boots with shorts um, and tights, right? Which is a pretty Melbourne thing to do, I would say. But also I kind of like how um, it leans into a very, you know, I take a lot of styling references from the grade twos at Aussie school because little girls know how to just layer and layer and layer and just wear all the things and look really great. Have you ever noticed that? Is it just me? Um, but there's a playfulness to it, right? Which I really like and I'm often dressing that way. So today I've got on shorts and tall boots. And as I said, this is the production. So you can see they're still pretty firm, right? And this elastic does stretch so much. So when you get them and they feel, if they feel firm in the shaft, that's totally normal. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these ones off and show you my pair that I've actually been wearing for the last week and that were the last few weeks and that were in the shoot as well. So they've been around a bit, right? Okay. Oh, uh, and also I quite like having socks at the top. That's just me. That's something we styled last year too with the, um, the everything boot over denims. I would wear these over denims with socks out the top too. I'm trying to think on the shoot, we put them with dresses as well. Anyway, so it's all about tights obviously and wearing something that going to expose the full length of the boot. But this, my point with these was just to show you how much they stretch, right? So can you see that and see how much they've relaxed in here? And they open up. So that's, that's just to show you that it's a very malleable leather. And when we say they stretch up to 10%, that's the kind of vibes that you're going to end up with once they've relaxed. That's our very first tall boot. It's online now. We made 100 pairs. We've already sold about five on pre-order. They're really great. And I can't wait to hear what you think. So hit me with some comments. Stay radical.